Hello everyone and welcome to another amazing charging curve. This is gonna be exciting. Yeah! <laughs> this is for nerds. This time it is the Nissan Naraya 87 kilowatt hours. It has 91 kilowatt hour battery, 87 kilowatt hours can be used. In the spec sheet it says it can DC charge with a peak of 130 kilowatt and I achieved that. And this charging curve is the easiest and simplest charging curve I have ever seen in my life. The BMS is doing its work. Usually you have a, a peak and then it slowly goes down. Not here, this is all limited. First it's limited with the amp and then with how the charging power is and we'll see that in the video and in my curve. It's really <laughs> amazing how easy a charging curve can be. Um, I did this uh, charging session at Ionity after 130 kilometers an hour road trip or uh, charging um, range test and the battery was warm because I achieved 130 kilowatt so I really think this is a, a good test it shows it very well I charged from 12 to 90 percent important is the voltage is not very high at 12 percent they have around 350 kilowatt at 90 percent what do I have almost 400 volts so it's not a high voltage battery for example my ID3 at full has a 450 volt or something it starts at 400 volts so this is 50 volt under and this is important on a few levels that we will see let's look at the charging session very fast so you can see what I mean uh, as you can see Ionity starts at 12 percent and it goes up to 126 kilowatt because there's a limit on the amp 350 amp and this uh, limit stays on for a while till 46 percent or so and in this time the charging power because the voltage of the battery is going up goes up to 131 kilowatt but it stays at the 350 amp so like i said very simple here and when it uh, has 46 45 46 percent the uh, charging power goes down to 90 kilowatt stays and it limits sometimes 91 but around 90 kilowatt it stays on that level till 80 something 82 percent or so and then it goes down another level to 40 percent so like i said the easiest charging curve ever <laughs> i don't have to talk what's happening here uh, <laughs> it's really just amazingly simple i like that less work for me <laughs> but now at 70 percent still 90 kilowatt and it will go on this is a time lapse and it's still you can see nothing is happening <laughs> 75 percent still 90 kilowatt voltage is almost at 400 volt 80 percent and then at 80 where is it? 84% it goes down to 40 kilowatt and it will stay at 40 kilowatt to above 90% I only charge to 90 so I think there's another drop to 23 kilowatt at around 96 kilowatt or so I have seen when I charge to 100% but that's the charging curve <laughs> that's what it is that's all we can see and now here I have the curve in front of me and here you can see very simple and easy goes up to here 90 40 that's it what's more important is uh, how much range can you add in time i put in the kilowatt hours over time that i charged on this session and my average consumption at the 130 kilometers hour kilometer an hour range test and this is the curve and as you can see 100 kilometers are charged in around 12 minutes 200 kilometers of highway range that's important it's not WTP range or range uh, drive around at home country and city this is when you go on a long distance trip and you want to drive 130 200 kilometers around 28 minutes and even at f after 44 minutes so when uh, charged to from 12 to 90 percent only charge 271 kilometers of range in there that's not a lot the car is a bit on the thirsty side and the charging power is not very impressive even though it's a big battery um, but I think it's very interesting to see 
um, and uh, I don't know how the, the small battery of the Araya is ch charges. I haven't tested that yet. I only had this big battery here. Overall the car is very very comfortable and I like it a lot. It drives amazing. It has a, a, a nice cockpit. Um, there's a few weird things. You see, you see it in the, the main video that will come up. The big test. Um, but overall I like driving it. I enjoyed those two weeks. I still have to do a night test. I will do this tomorrow or the day afterwards. Drive at night, see how the light is. In the morning when it's a bit dark, with the low beams seem to be okay. Um, high beams I haven't tested that well and the auto high beams thing as well as uh, inside how the lights are, ambient light and stuff like this. You see that in the big test video. But that's it for me. <laughs> There's not much more to say about this charging curve. It could be better for a big battery like this, but at least you know what's happening. So you know you never charge above the 80, what was it, 85, what was that? 82, 83%. You don't charge over that, so you have your 90 kilowatt till then, you know what's happening. And that's good too, I think. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.